Hello everyone, my BP number is BP0063649. Uh, the purpose of this presentation is to discuss my own effectiveness as a leader and my ability to influence situations. <coughs> so, the firstly, I will offer the definition of effective leadership. And uh, secondly, I will discuss the Pesco theory of leadership and using it to assess the effectiveness of my leadership. And uh, secondly, I will critically evaluate my effectiveness and the ineffectiveness as a leader. And uh, the set, uh, finally, I will conclude my strengths and the weakness as a leader and uh, explain how I will do the future improvements. <coughs> so, uh, so, uh, uh, so uh, uh, in order to critically evaluate my effectiveness as a leader, it is necessary to first uh, definite uh, the effective leadership. According to the Peter Drucker, leaders are effective when their uh, followers achieve their goals, function well together, and adapt to the changing demands of ex uh, external forces. And uh, effective leadership is not about making speeches or be liked. Effective leadership is definitely by results, not uh, uh, attributes. <coughs> According to the, Pe the Pesco uh, theory of leadership, the leadership responsibility is uh, in increase uh, subordinates uh, motivation to attain personal or organizational goals by uh, clarifying the followers path to the rewards available and uh, by increasing the rewards set the follower values and deserves. Uh, therefore, so the, the effective leadership should be able to clarify his or her followers path to the successful achievement of their goals and set the appropriate rewards so as to motivate, uh, motivate, motivate them. As well, uh, effective leaders should change their behavior to match their situations. Uh, my, uh, my leadership point is to provide a direction and a, a vision for my team and to motivate them in their achievements, their goals. And uh, being a delayed leader, I like to motivate my team member by giving them trust and freedoms and empowering them with uh, autonomy to make their own decisions. Uh, I, allow, I, I allow the group to make their decision and uh, am effective in providing support and encouragement for my team. And in fact, uh, and here is some evidence, my teammates are more, uh, more p uh, passionate and motivation about uh, our project when I give them the freedom to choose their own task and finish them in their own ideas. <coughs> and uh, uh, therefore, I think I'm an effective leader in terms of motivate, motivating the others by providing support and encouraging them. Uh, and uh, on the other hand, the two major areas of my leadership skills need future development. First of all, uh, first of all uh, my leadership is not very effective uh, in terms of setting appropriate rewards for them. And secondly, my leadership is not very effective in terms of uh, clarifying my followers' path to the successful achievement of, the, of their goals. And here is an evidence as well. My hands-off leadership style was not very uh, effective when some of the term members were not very enthusiastic about the project or had a difficult, uh, difficult, difficulty finishing their task and uh, rarely explaining to teammates about the rewards to, uh, for, our, uh, for our group. <clears throat> so, to conclusion, my strength as a leader is that I'm effective in providing support and encourage encouragement for my team and uh, motivating them by empowering them with uh, autonomy. And on the other hand, my weakness as a leader is that uh, I'm ineffective in helping my teammates identify and uh, learn the behaviors that will lead to a successful uh, task. I also, uh, I also lack the ability to set uh, appropriate rewards for my team, teammates. In the future, I plan to improve my leadership effective by setting appropriate rewards for my team and helping them identify and uh, learn the behaviors that will lead to a successful task. And uh, here are some reference. Thank you for watching.